Hey there, we are now inside Victoria's Garden. This place is fabulous. There are plants and containers and accoutrements to make your decorations really sparkle. Now Victoria's gonna work with us and she's gonna show us how to decorate for the holidays your table and hopefully mine. And I wanna introduce you to her. She is a horticulturist. She is the owner of the shop. This is Victoria, the talented, wonderful person that owns this place in Rosendale, New York in Ulster County. So we're gonna go upstairs now. We're gonna have a little bit of fun. Don't laugh if I do something stupid, okay? <laughs> so let's try this out. Thank you. Hi, here we are at the table, and Victoria is going to tell us what to do. I'm just going to be her accomplice and her little assistant right now. So listen carefully, okay? But one of the things when designing something, you want it, threes is always a good design number. Inside, outside, that's always a good design number. So we've got three candle uh, sticks here. We've got three little bunny butlers. The cornucopia is for Thanksgiving. And so we're going to do a little setup of browns and greens and oranges. So we're going to bring some light to the subject now. Candles. Here comes the candles. Again, done in threes. Now we're using traditional colors here with the orange and greens, but you don't have to. There's no reason. Here's we're not necessarily using turkeys. We've got some bunnies here for not. Right. You can use pink, you can use purple, you can use whatever turns you on. This is your table. Remember that, folks. We've got some sparkly pumpkins to bring into it. We got some balls. We got know. some balls. Funniest looking cauliflower I ever yes. saw. Which we're going to let them roll out of the cornucopia instead of fruit. That is a traditional idea. But they sort of bring that pretty chartreuse that I think most of us are in love with at this time. What do you think, I No? Okay. These bunnies hold a few. There you go. A couple more. Perfect. All right, it's funny so, to look nice. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. So that's Thanksgiving. And then to transition to Christmas, we're going to take away the pumpkin. Take away the pumpkin. Take away the orange. We're going to bring in some traditional red. We'll also bring in some more chartreuse with these little live cypress. These guys like to be kept moist through the season. You could have had these lined up on your mantelpiece and now you bring them to the tabletop. How's this looking there? Everybody getting the idea? How easy and simple to make something beautiful? Again, the three soap. Oh, and we want to take that corn copy out, but I think those balls might be able to stay. bring some fun into the landscape. There we go. The tablescape. So I need to look a little Christmassy, everybody. Now these are traditional colors, but it's Christmas, so get with the program and use these colors, okay? <laughs> now then when we're gonna transition into New Year's, again, we're, we could leave the chartreuse trees, but I have another idea. We're gonna go black and white. So we're going to move out the browns okay. and the greens. We do have to really go black and white. We could switch out our green completely. Ah. And a little sparkly garland. Ah, look at this. this. Ribbons for that. This is fabulous. I love this. Candles. Oh. We're getting glitzy now, us. folks. This is getting very glitzy. I'm loving it. Really elegant New Year's Eve. The only thing we need now is a little bit of the champagne, folks. Here we go. Yeah, 
Look at that. It's a little sparser. It might even be that we want those chartreuse trees back into it. So how, how do you like that? You didn't have to spend a lot of money. It looks fabulous. It's so adaptable. And we were able to reuse things through the whole season. Absolutely. So go out and have some fun. Thank you, Victoria, You're very welcome. much. It's a You're bit welcome. of pleasure. Go Thank out now, guys, eat. and decorate your tables for the holidays. And do it before the snow flies. Bye.